What's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR and I'm here to share with you my own personal review of WWE Royal Rumble 2014 pay-per-view and I would just like to state right now that as a whole I thought this was a pretty solid pay-per-view for this year. A little bit better than last year but not by much. I'm going to jump into just because I kind of wrote down all my thoughts. Starting off with the kicker, we had Goldust and Cody Rhodes versus the New Age Outlaws. And I thought the match itself was a pretty uh, solid opening for this pay-per-view. And surprisingly, the New Age Outlaws actually won the championships. I did not expect that at all. I definitely liked how it ended, how they kind of did the secret tag and then Cody Rhodes ends up attacking the unofficial guy and then the official guy comes in, does the finisher, wins, gets to the three count and wins the tie titles so um yeah was not expecting that really great way to kick off the show it kind of gives me the impression that the wwe may have a plan for the new age outlaws we'll have to see if that continues on through elimination chamber on to royal rumble that takes me to the next match which we had daniel bryan versus bray white and i have to tell you this was a awesome match from beginning to start we got to see a lot of really cool moves from beginning to end and uh i think for me, the match really escalated once the other two members of the Wyatt family left, and there was a lot of really great um, back and forth action, and Bray Wyatt was really focusing on Brian's head, and they were talking about the match, saying how Brian had a concussion, so that might have played a, a factor into this match, and even at one point, I think uh, Daniel Bryan hit him in the lip. It was actually starting to bleed a little bit, so it was nice to see a little bit of blood. But uh, by the end, Bray Wyatt actually got the pin, and it was a clean pin. And that's something I don't really see much when you put a face against a heel. Like, usually the heel will do some type of cheap move or someone will interfere. But to actually see Bray Wyatt get a clean victory over Daniel Bryan really impressed me. So... Uh, I could definitely see how his popularity is going to increase, and as we saw later on tonight, uh, I think the WWE is really going to start giving the Whites a serious push. So I gave that match a 4 out of 5 stars. We go on to the next match, which was Big Show versus Brock Lesnar, and it was pretty much what I expected. It was just a straight up ass kicking for Big Show. Uh, before the match even started, Lesnar just kind of got a cheap shot, then he got a chair and just kept hitting Big Show over and over and over again. And then when the match finally started, he thought he was going to hit Big Show with the chair again. Big Show actually managed to get a quick knockout punch, and that didn't knock out uh, Brock Lesnar. That kind of dazed him a little bit, and then he managed to somehow get Big Show into an F5 get the three count, and then for like a good five or six minutes, he just kept hitting Big Show with a chair, and then he broke one chair, and he got another chair, and he kept hitting him some more until Big Show couldn't get up. So, typical, I think they're just setting up Brock Lynch, they're just building him up, because I'm pretty sure he is going to win the WWE Heavyweight Championship from whoever ended up winning this earlier match. So, I gave it a two out of five stars. We then go into John Cena versus Randy Orton for the WWE Heavyweight Championship. Uh, I thought that this actually ended up being a much better match than I thought it was going to be because the crowd was really not too into it. They were still chanting Daniel Bryan. They were chanting Y2J. So the crowd itself really made it a fun match to watch. But what really stood out was that uh, there were a lot of portions throughout this match where Cena and Orton were actually doing each other's moves. Uh, like at one point, you actually see uh, Randy Orton uh, get Cena in the STFU, which which I had never seen anyone actually accomplish to get uh, Cena's own finisher move. And then you actually get to see Randy Orton do an attitude adjustments on Cena. And then you actually get to see Cena do an RKO on Randy Orton, which I've never seen that done before. So it's the fact that they were trying something new that made it entertaining. But at the end of the night, Randy Orton did get the win because the Wyatts did come out and distract Cena. They kind of appeared and then they... You know, they distracted Cena long enough for Randy to get the RKO, get the three count, and then they came in the match and beat him up, beat Cena up. So that gives me a feeling that, which was a theory that I actually heard from another fan of uh, who made their own predictions that they might be setting up the Wyatts to take on Cena at WrestleMania to build them up because that's the only reason why they would give a victory over for, over Daniel Bryan, which I can now see at this point. So anything that they could do to keep Cena out of the championship match or a match against The Undertaker works for me, so I gave that match a 3 out of 5 stars. And going into the Royal Rumble match, I thought this was 
a little bit better than last year, but it kind of suffered from the same problem that I had with Roy Rumble last year, and that was it was too predictable. I, I really liked that uh, CM Punk was in the match for the longest amount of time, and it was really nice to see Roman Reign actually break Kane's record of the most eliminations, because Originally, Kane's record was 11. Roman Reigns got 12 eliminations, including eliminating uh, his own two extra members of the Shield. And by the end of the night, it came down to just Roman Reigns and Batista. And really good back and forth action, but by the end of the night, Batista got the win, which I didn't want to see because I just did not want this match to be predictable. I mean, it kind of ruins the whole point of the Royal Rumble. It's supposed to be unpredictable, but... You know, bringing, I, I'm, I'm convinced now that there was some type of deal that Batista made with WWE saying if I come back for however time I want to win the Royal Rumble and I want to main event WrestleMania. And I think by doing that, it just kind of takes the whole purpose of the Royal Rumble out. But I wanted to say I was very, very impressed with Roman Reigns of how he performed. And I'm convinced, if I shout out doubt, that after WrestleMania 30, if the Shield does eventually break up, that he will be the guy to be a serious main eventer. And I could even see him winning the championship maybe down the line sometime this year. So I gave the Royal Rumble match this year a 3.5 out of 5 stars. So as a pay-per-view in a whole, I gave Royal Rumble 2014 pay-per-view a 7.5 out of 10. A little bit better than last year, but you know, for that last bit with Batista winning, I was I just wish someone else would have won. And besides, throughout that whole point, they were cheering for Daniel Bryan. And when Daniel Bryan didn't show up, the crowd was really upset. And the rest of the match, they were just kind of booing the match. And they were even booing Batista. So that kind of showed you just how popular Daniel Bryan is. And I have a theory about how they're going to use him in the future. So without that, that is the end of my video. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to track me in my future movie video game reviews and topic videos like this one and please tell me what were your guys thoughts did you like this year's uh, Royal Rumble were there a couple matches that you were a bit shocked of the outcome were there a couple things that you're disappointed with are you disappointed that Daniel Bryan didn't win give me your thoughts in the comments down below and I actually did manage to film my live reactions video but it's going to be really long and I made the kind of big mistake of actually having my surround sound system on a bit too loud so I actually ended up having to kind of talk really loudly over the video but if you guys still want to see my live reactions please tell me in the comments down below and I'll try to get that video up as soon as I can and like always thank you guys for watching you're awesome and I will see you next time